Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Maybe so. But this door is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the hidden backs. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulture Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base, not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and see. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zedra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulkar spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. No, I st she. I so I the o I the swoop, but but my getting mi missions. She go a simple disguise. Luck since good. Your time. Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you! I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zerdra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. Feel Ready? Sure.
What? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! It's you a penki! What on our mamulira? Kenjun to Bashak! No bully muli raji, Johnny Tun, Turji Chiwi Itado! Bola una dichek! Palamuri Slimo Wanga Kun Bisching! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. Better get this over to Derek. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. You ask! 
I'm the one with the blaster. We'll go explore somewhere. I gave you. Now you'll. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
My secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened. True. Bastille is as powerful as they say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how... We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more... Not at all, I just think it's a bit odd that someone who got added to the crew roster at the last minute just happens to be one of the survivors. No? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be paranoid. The Jedi consider I'm pro I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't and no I'm not gonna discuss them, so can we All right, all right. We'll talk them. You've got. Let me see. Uh, the Undercity. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? For more. Well, that's all. You got. Yes, what's on. You got it. You there! Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. 
Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beg... I'm sure you are, miss. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I... I suppose our world doesn't look like much to you. It's dark and cold and lonely down here, but this is the only world I've ever known. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil's the best. Of course, but... Watch yourself. My name... Hurry. He'll never- He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Oh. <sighs> the mutant- And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all- No! You can't do this! It isn't fair- I can't open the- You monster! I'm sorry, Hester. No! <laughs> <laughs> Horrible fate for like but enough. I'll open the No! No! I can see it! Look out!
Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Vex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. Listen, my friend Zalbar is in serious. Me. I guess what? Only this. I don't. No way. I don't know. It's a. Do you know? The Gamo. What? Yes? Yeah? Sure.